How to Fall in Love by Christmas is a really great film, partly because I really like Terry Hatcher, but it's also just a really great story and very, very festive. This was released this year, in 2023. It's directed by Michael Kennedy and written by Ansley Gordon, and of course we have Terry Hatcher as our protagonist, Nora Winters. We also have Dan Payne as Jack, and Jack is photographing Nora for a series that she's basically being forced to write for the lifestyle brand that she owns. And this is a series that's designed to prove that Christmas is a magical time and a great season for falling in love. And the whole point is that she's got to put herself out there to meet different guys with the intention or the plan of falling in love by Christmas. She is very sceptical that this is going to work. And what I particularly liked about this is that with Christmas rom-coms, there's usually one main love interest, maybe two if we have, for example, a current partner in an old flame. But with this one, due to the very nature of the narrative, she's meeting quite a lot of potential love interests. And I found that to be a little bit different and something that worked really well. And there were at least a couple of people who I thought actually that could be the one, if you like, because it wasn't clear whether this was going to have a very typical ending or whether it was going to go down a different path. I'm not going to give away what happens, of course, but from start to finish, I really enjoyed it and I found it to be a very fascinating story with a really good execution. Nora is very likable and I think has a very believable response to the situation. As I said, she's very sceptical that this is even going to work, but she gets on with it and she does kind of try to do it with a smile. She's not all doom and gloom throughout the entire thing because she's being forced to do this. As the narrative goes on, she does begin to open her heart up to this idea and begins to embrace the situations. And I think part of the reason for that is Jack. Jack is the photographer who's taking pictures of her on these escapades. And he's definitely there to encourage her and support her. And I think it would have been very lonely without him, even though she's meeting all of these different people. I think it would have felt a lot lonelier for her and also for us as a viewer. It's nice to have two protagonists to embark on this journey with. It's also very Christmassy. Very, very festive. Definitely one that can help put you in the Christmas spirit, whether or not you believe that it's the perfect time to fall in love. I thought it was a great narrative. I uh, really thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Nora as a character I really love Jack I liked as well so no complaints from me there is nothing about this that I didn't enjoy there's nothing about it that didn't work and if you're looking for a Christmas film you haven't seen definitely check it out in the UK it's currently on Channel 5's online portal 5 online my 5 I had to google what it was called I don't use Channel 5 that often but this Christmas they have so many amazing films, many of which I haven't seen. I've reviewed over 500 Christmas films and they still managed to have about 30 that I hadn't seen before. So definitely head to Channel 5's My 5 and if you haven't seen How to Fall in Love by Christmas and it sounds like your kind of film, I definitely recommend it. I really thoroughly enjoyed it.